Hello, I'm running a random dungeon and decided to make a demonstration video of how I play as a disciplined priest. Uh, my target frame is located at the bottom of the screen and as you might notice I'm constantly targeting the enemy units. Uh, all my healing spells and other spells that can target allies are created as mouse over macros so that I can just hover my mouse over the party frames and hit the hotkey to cast a spell. You might want to pay attention on my cursor so that you can see when I'm uh, casting spells on allies otherwise I'm just hitting uh, my hotkeys to spam smite or holy fire. So most of my healing is actually done by those two spells smite and holy fire. Uh, they get healing done by the atonement talent which heals uh, a nearby ally who's got the lowest health whenever my smite or holy fire deals damage and that's what I'm doing whenever there's uh, no danger of anyone taking too much damage and when that happens I need to cast something faster uh, which is either penance or flash heal uh, flash heal uh, costs a lot more mana but it's uh, quicker and more efficient so only if there's no uh, risk of someone dying I'll use penance and it's not a big difference between those spells so uh, and also penance uh, gives three stacks of the grace talent which increases healing down to the target so if I'm going to continue healing the same target after that it's, uh, penance is a very good starter. Then there's of course power world shield which has a lot of talents in the disc tree. Uh, most important one probably being the rupture talent which restores 7% of my mana whenever the shield is completely absorbed. Uh, it can only happen once every 12 seconds uh, but since the weakened soul debuff lasts for 15 uh, if I use it on the tank whenever possible uh, the rapture talent gets to be used every time so if I'm uh, conserving mana I'm using shield as much as I can on the tank not on the others because if it's used on the others it probably won't get absorbed completely and I just end up wasting mana instead. Uh, greater heal is also good for saving mana uh, but it's not as uh, fast heal as flash heal but it costs a lot uh, less mana and it also decreases the cooldown of my inner focus which uh, gives me free heals uh, every time the cooldown is ready. Uh, but since I'm just running 5 man heroics here I'm not really concerned about my mana and I'm just using the fastest heals possible so I get back to DPSing when I'm done healing. Uh, I actually reforged uh, all my mastery into haste so I can do more DPS. And of course one more important heal spell is prayer of healing. Uh, it heals five party members uh, and it isn't affected by line of sight so it's a very easy to use heal uh, but if someone is dying uh, it's uh, very risky since it doesn't heal uh, each person very much so first quickly heal that target to save health before starting prayer of healing one thing you might have seen a lot with disciplined priests are the Archangel and Evangelism talents. Uh, it's the one that creates the little wings on my back. Um, I'm not using them much because uh, using Ar Archangel actually decreases my DPS because it drops the Evangelism stacks. Uh, so whenever I cast Smite or uh, Holy Fire it adds a stack evangelism up to five stacks and each of those stacks increases the damage of my smites, holy fire and penance and decreases their mana cost so when I use archangel I get 50% more healing done 
uh, but I lose DPS so I only use Archangel when I know that I'm going to need to heal a lot in the next uh, half minute and then there's of course Renew which I use fairly often even though uh, not during combat because it doesn't heal much and it wastes a global cooldown which I could be using uh, on casting smite or holy fire so when I'm running or combat is over I throw a Renew on mm, anyone who's low on health and uh, if the combat is soon about to start uh, I usually just uh, cast a few flash heals instead so we can start and start the combat faster I should also mention that penance actually increases your TPS if you use it on enemy targets uh, but since it's on uh, on a cooldown uh, it's sometimes good to save it for emergency heals since it is a very powerful heal Anyway, I haven't played as a priest for long, only a couple of months, so don't take everything I say for granted, uh, but I hope this helps anyone who likes to play as a disciplined priest. So uh, thanks for watching.